taking pictures of the geese. They're hungry. What? Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, uh, I, I was looking at Randy's WSG and he gave a uh, open tag from Warthog. And, uh, let me see, okay. And so, uh, I guess Warthog threw out an open tag for way back Wednesday. And, um, you know, almost all of my knives are way back because I like vintage knives, uh, you guys know that, and so, um, I thought I'd show this knife here, uh, you can tell already it's a, uh, buck 120, and, geez, I don't even know, hold on a minute, okay, sorry about that, um, so, it's a seven and a half inch blade on this knife, um, I think it's 420, uh, stainless steel, I'm not really sure. It's back before they marked that kind of stuff. And I think they call this a phenolic um, uh, handle material on here. So it's a um, plastic resin type material. I didn't research it for the video. It has uh, aluminum guard with that... Um, kind of plastic in between there and then um you know a nice uh uh aluminum uh, bird's head pommel on here uh you can see very slight finger grooves i don't really like knives with finger grooves but this fits really well in my hand and uh it's you know seven and a half inches it's bigger than a uh, k-bar but the uh, blade itself is smaller. Uh, you can tell I didn't prepare for this. I'm just throwing it together. So, um, you know, it's a little over an inch. Maybe an inch and an eighth uh, wide right here. And um, probably an eighth of an inch in the tang. Yeah. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch for the uh, spine. Really nice design on this knife. Um, I like this blade. And uh, why this is a, a um, way back Wednesday knife is if you take a really good look at this knife, you can see that blade has a lot of wear on it. And my, my dad... Um, Gave this knife to me for my 17th uh, birthday. And um, so that makes this knife 47 years old. Look at that ding right there. And uh, I was raised in South Florida. You see some cool dings right there. Just all chewed up. Like, like this should be smooth and mirror polished right here. But it's just really worn. And um, I use this knife. Uh, this was my go-to hunting knife, fishing knife, camping knife, any knife you could think of where you needed a big knife for the application. Really good ding right there in the knife. And, um, you know, that's what I use this knife for. And so... Um, 47 years of wear and tear on this knife and it's basically as good as it came out of the uh, box just fantastic knives and um you know buck is not a, i don't think that's your uh sexy knife nowadays there's so many you know um really good knives out there um modern interpretations of fixed blade knives and and i think Buck does a case selling these, but they probably sell a lot to old timers and to, to, you know, kids who are coming up and their dad had one of these. And so they get one. I, 
honestly, I don't see a lot of people carrying these knives. So when I'm out in the woods hunting or fishing, you just don't see a lot of people that carry uh, buck knives. But man, this has been a fantastic knife. And um, 47 years, this knife has been all over the United States. Um, I drove this knife into the head of a uh, alligator to kill an alligator. I've killed boar with this knife. Um, I've finished off deer with this knife. You know, you don't, um, you know, sometimes the deer, they're just not, they got a little bit of life left in them and you don't want them, uh, stabbing you with these, uh, sharp objects there. And so you have to finish them off. You know, rabbits, duck, pheasant, and, uh, man, this knife could tell some stories here. I'll tell you what, I've had some adventures with this knife. And uh, anyhow, just a really cool knife. If if you've never had a buck fixed blade knife before, uh, let me tell you, um, they're going to last, right? So <laughs> this knife, uh, I finally retired it. I got to be like 50. Uh, I'm living in Georgia now. Once I moved up to Georgia, I got out of the military and um, used this knife for a while. But eventually... I can't remember when, but maybe 10 years ago, I just took it out of the rotation. It's one of the few things that my dad, I still have from my dad, and I didn't want to screw it up. And so it's retired now out to pasture and uh, living a good life. It doesn't have to worry about being broken anymore or abused. You know, it just uh, sits in a place of honor in the, in the house. And so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And um, appreciate you uh, for watching. Thanks.